Hello everybody, I'm John Holliday here with YKK at the Outdoor Retailer, Winter Show in Salt Lake City, Utah. And we are launching a new product this week called our Dynapel Zipper. And we're really targeting the zipper to be water protection for the circular future. This has been a really long-term development in collaboration with Green Theme Technologies, also known as GTT, with their Impel chemistry and treatment technology platform. So this collaborative development we have, we've created a product that's gonna give us very robust water protection, as well as enhance water repellency durability. We're not gonna lose the original hand filled zipper that you would have if you applied PU film like we have with our standard AquaGuard zipper. And that'll also give us good flexibility and breathability. And then with removing that PU film, it's also gonna be much more easily acceptable and processable in recycling systems. To go through the specifics of the Impel treatment process, we take first our YKK base zipper chain that's PFAS compliant and with a natural on tape, which is a recycled polyester. We're then going to specifically prepare Impel's chemistry and mix that up. It's a dry chemistry, which is a water-free application process. And instead of doing a padding process or applying as much chemistry as we can, we're going to apply a very targeted uniform dosage across the reverse side of the zipper chain. We're then going to specially orient that zipper and put it into a specially designed pressure pot for the treatment of our zipper chain specifically. We're going to put that in an atmosphere, that a specialized atmosphere, and then apply pressure. And what that pressure is going to do is help to push that chemistry into the tape fibers. Also, while we have that specialized atmosphere and that pressure applied, we're going to cure the chemistry, and that's going to end up with a polymerization process that's going to encapsulate these zipper fibers in a water repellent layer. Speaking of the water repellency performance, this zipper is going to perform on par with our current YKK AquaGuard zipper. And when I say water repellency performance, we use our internal shower test for that. We expose the zipper to a 15 minute duration with a shower nozzle. We measure both the absorbed water as well as the water that passes through. That what we call permeated rainwater has to be less than 0.5 grams to pass that test and Dynapel meets and exceeds that test as well. It's also very durable, as I mentioned, on wash durability. So even after 20, 50, or even more wash cycles, we still made a very high level of water repellency performance. And in particular with the Dynapel zipper, we see very strong abrasion resistance. So we've done testing with thousand abrasion cycles and then measured the spray test and still had very strong grade four from our internal grading system with the zipper for that water repellency performance. So throughout the life use of the product, whether it's for abrasion or rubbing up against something, or if it's an exposed zipper, really going to see a very sustained level of water repellency durability. I also want to talk about some of the benefits we have with removing that polyurethane film. First and foremost, as I've already touched on, you're not going to have that stiffness that you have. So we're going to have very good flexibility as well as breathability and just maintain that original hand fill, as I mentioned. I think with our AquaGuard zipper, of course, it's a very techy looking zipper, but I think in any application you've probably tried to use this on, it can be very stiff. It can have also heavy operation force and operability. And a lot of times you can get things like puckering or maybe it just doesn't lay with the fabric as you quite want it to. So with using our Dynapel zipper, you're gonna see a lot of improvement with that. I mentioned operation force. The PU film has a little bit more friction, especially static friction, it's a little more tacky. So you're gonna see benefits there with both opening and closing the zipper. And then I talked about operability, specifically with open-in, whether it's standard open-in like you see here, or in the future with two-way open-in or movable open-in as we call it. That tackiness of the PU film does cause some issues of being able to insert the pin, especially in cold weather conditions. So again, we're removing that PU film, we're gonna see just by default improved operability improvements. As I talked about with PU film, that's not really acceptable in a lot of recycling systems. And even if it is, it's usually to a very limited controlled amount. So with removing that polyurethane film, this is gonna be much more approachable and processable in those recycling systems. And then lastly, we're hoping to see a lot more design adaptability with this zipper. So with all those inherent benefits that we talked about, maybe you could use this zipper on an application or with a different material that AquaGuard previously just was not suited for. And with these new pros and benefits, Dynapel could be a very good fit for that. Availability wise, this item is available now. Of course, we're launching it at Outdoor Retailer Show. We'll also be showing it at ISPO. Uh, in Germany as well, a little bit later in a couple of weeks. But this is number five open end, which is available for open end left insert for USA markets. We're also currently developing the right insert for markets outside of the US. We have number five in reverse coil, also available for closed in applications. And then of course the number three, so for those pockets outside of center front, we'll have that available in closed in as well.
Talking about the specific item specification, we are using an injected plastic in components that goes for the open parts as well as the top stops, as well as in the future for two-way components. And then on the reinforcement film, which is specifically for open-end products, we're using what we call a tafta film. It's a colored nylon film, so it is limited to 38 colors, but we can match that to best suit the tape choice that you, you select. Speaking of the tape, right now we're following the YKK Global Color Card, so please select from there when you're choosing your color. And also note that the zipper color after treatment can become slightly a darker shade, so we do recommend sampling the zipper just to make sure that it's matching your intended look on the fabric or wherever you're applying that to. Looking towards the future with the development roadmap, I mentioned we'll be expanding this very shortly to open in right insert for markets outside of the US. We also plan to do a number three open in both in left and right insert. And then finally, for our initial offering of the zipper, we will plan to develop two way both in left insert and right insert. So if this zipper is of any interest today, we do welcome you to go visit our YKK digital showroom. It'll be constantly updated with these improvements and as we expand the variation of the zipper. If you need more information, you can contact us through the digital showroom or you can reach out to your local YKK representative. And of course, we can supply you with any samples or answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for listening to Tech Talk and we'll see you at the next one.